Hi, hello, welcome back to Learn and Shoot. I have created a troubleshooting series. So as a part of this series, the first topic that we are going to discuss is about cannot RTP or SSH to a VM. So without any further ado, let's get started. Cannot RTP or SSH is one of the common issues that we face. I have come up with a set of steps which you can follow in order to resolve that issue even faster without even raising a support ticket. So let me show you the seven steps that I have um, in order to resolve the issue in a faster manner. First is reset remote desktop configuration. What it generally does is it goes ahead and reset your RDP configuration in your from your guest OS level. So it can be it can be handy in in a scenarios where Windows firewall is blocking your RDP connections or your um, uh, remote connections are disabled. Second step is check network security groups. So network security groups can be applied in a NIC level as well as in subnet level. So when you have a lot of different network security groups assigned to um, to either subnet or NIC level, in order to check whether the port 3389 is allowed or not for a specific client IP is going to be difficult. So we can use Network Watcher to troubleshoot this. The next step is to review VM console logs. I'll show you how to do that. So basically this shows you the screenshot of your um, machine and also the console logs. So with those logs, we can troubleshoot why you're, why you're not able to RTP to a VM. Reset NIC of the VM. Sometimes this uh, changing the IP address of the NIC, uh, private IP address might fix the issue. Um, I'll show you how to do that in the portal. Check the VM health resource. So um, Azure portal shows you whether your VM is healthy or not, uh, also with the events logged. So you by checking those, you can understand whether your, your VM is healthy at a specific point of time. Maybe you might have forgotten your password. Um, maybe your username and password is wrong. So you can actually go ahead and reset your VM password and try to log in again. Last step, uh, last before step is to restart your VM and check if that works. And if all the steps fails, um, you can try redeploying your VM and check if that is going to help you with the RDP or not. So let's let me show you um, how to um, do all these steps um, from the portal standpoint. And uh, let's get started. So I have deployed a VM. Um, it's a Windows box. Let me navigate to that. So let me try to connect to this VM. So I got a public IP address. I have copied it. And let me even connect. You can see that my RDP client is trying to initiate a remote connection and I'm not getting any response. So I'm getting an error saying that you're not able to connect because of these three reasons, which is pretty common. So let's go ahead and try to troubleshoot this, this issue. So first up, what we can do is try to reset the RDP configuration. So if you are RDPing to a machine which is brand new, by default, Windows Firewall is will allow port 3389 and the uh, RDP connections are allowed by default. So making or, use or updating this reset configuration only is not going to make much difference. But it is a good place to start with. If you have a VM which is working fine uh, all over and suddenly if it is not, you're not able to RDP. So this is the first step to start. If it is a new VM, you can step, you can skip this step. And if it is an already used VM and suddenly if you're not able to RDP, you can skip this first step and then come and then start with the second step, right? So this is how you reset your remote desktop configuration. Once this is done, try to uh, RDP again. If you're not able to RDP, move to the next step. Check network security group rules. So in order to do that, 
you can make use of connection troubleshooting. So under, sub, under support and troubleshooting, you can see something called connection troubleshooting. For this, you need to enable network watcher. So I'm gonna check inbound, inbound RDP. So this is my source IP address. From my source IP address to RDP, port 3389, uh, protocol is TCP. Let's check if I have access um, or let's check if I can, or uh, if the port 3389 is accessible from internet or from my client IP address. So basically what it does is it actually checks, um, it checks the, uh, you know, uh, port accessibility and gives me gives me a detailed report below as you can see the result of this network connection troubleshooting of the network watcher the network connectivity blocked by the security group rule default rule deny all rule deny all inbound rule so i'm going to go back to my network security group so this is a network security group that i have attached to my NIC and you can see there is a deny all inbound rule so this rule is blocking and I don't have any allow rule to allow my inbound connection for port 3389 so if I can actually go ahead and create a, 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 a rule for 3389 to allow then I should be so this is a second step. So I'm able to fix my RDP or SSH issue in the second step itself. If you have already have an allow rule and if you still face any sort of issue, let's go ahead and go with the third rule. Third step is to review the console logs. Let me go back to my VM um, and I will navigate to the boot diagnostics where you should be able to see the console logs so this is a screenshot of my vm so i'm able to see that the login screen which means my vm i'm able to see my login screen so there is no nothing wrong with the booting itself and also i can click on the serial logs where i can see the serial logs of my vm so, so if you had any issues and if you're not able to see um, the 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 um, logo itself, login screen itself, then there should be something wrong with the boot itself, booting itself. So you can follow a different set of troubleshooting to um, you know fix that issue. So the next step would be reset the NIC of the VM. So for that, you need to go back to the networking option select the nic and then click on ip configuration and click on ip config one where you can set the assignment as static and you can select an another ip address or so when you do this step you need to restart your machine right that's what they say so so when you at this step when you set this ip address or when you change this ip address the ip address will not get changed instantly for that you need to go back to your machine and try you need to do a restart so once this step is completed um, you try to do a restart and then try to rdp again and let's check if that works and the next thing is check the VM resource health. So you can navigate back to the support and troubleshooting um, option where you can check where you can click on resource health. If there is any sort of issue uh, with your virtual machine, you'll be able to see the status over here. So right now I'm able to see that my VM is in unavailable state. So, so in, the, in the below you can see why is it in unavailable state and there is an option to troubleshoot this as well so since i have uh, you know changed my ip ip address um, that's that might be the reason why it is showing as unavailable 
so let me wait for some time and just click on restart again um refresh again and let's check if that resolves this issue or else i can just try to do a restart and then come back and check if the resource health is available or not so i have initiated the restart once this restart is completed let me go back and check my resource health and check if it is healthy or not so resource health is another key factor it even gives you a list of events so as you can see now after my restart my vm is available again so that's because since i have changed the ip address and i didn't do a restart for that vm um it way so it actually you know notifies me that my vm is in an unavailable state and when i click on the event i get even more details on that and also recommend the steps that i need to do in order to fix that issue so this is one, one of the you know um, key factor of troubleshooting or dbrs such issue next thing is reset your password uh, sometimes you might have changed your password and 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 when you try to type in the username and password it keeps on telling you that the username and password is wrong so during that time you can just navigate back to reset password and this time instead of selecting reset configuration only you can type in your username and type in a different password that you want to reset so on the click on update it may take a while so once this is done you can try to rdp using the the changed username and password and check if that resolves your issue last two steps are something um, you know when you tried everything and still if you're not able to rdp or sscratch this too is the last step that you can actually do and uh, and and then even after then if you're not able to rdp you can raise a support ticket so restart of your vm is something which i have did earlier itself i will show you how to redeploy your vm so there is an option called redeploy over here in support and troubleshooting where you can just click on this redeploy and and just you know when you click on redeploy um your local or temporary drive will be lost and what our data which you have it in your local drive will be lost and the data which is there in the storage account as a part of disk is not lost so if you have any critical data we I, i don't recommend to do a redeploy um you can raise a support ticket and try to figure things out and if if you don't have any important data and if you are ready to have a downtime of some time um you can actually go ahead and try to re redeploy by clicking this button so i'm just waiting for this operation to complete uh, resetting password so once this is complete i'll i'll show you how to redeploy the password reset is successfully completed so i will click on redeploy now so when you click on redeploy the the host the virtual machine will be switched to a new host so that um, if there is any issue with the present host which is not allowing you to rdp or ssh that will be resolved so i'll pause this video and once the machine is redeployed i will resume back as you can see the redeploy is successfully made um so if you try to connect now and if if your problem was with the host itself um since doing a redeploy will switch your virtual machine to a different host which might have fixed your issue so let's try to logically arrange the steps so that it will be way easier for you to troubleshoot we can segregate this with um rtp or cannot rtp or ssh issue into three six three segments one is connectivity issue between your vm and the um and and your client second one is the issue is with its with the vm itself like host third one is issue is in your guest os level or you forgot your password so so for the first connectivity part let me just quickly show you i'm just going to copy this public ip address and there's a website called ping.eu where you can check whether the port is open or not so i'm just going to type in your the vm's ip address 
and port 338 and if it is a linux box just change this port to 22 and type in the capture dbfe and go so as you can see the port 3389 to my pub public ip address of my v vm is open if it is showing as closed right if it is showing as closed you will not even be getting a prompt where you can enter in your username and password when you try to use rdp client so in this case most probably the issue will would be with the network security group or it can be an issue where where your vm service itself is not running or rdp service itself is not running or there can be an issue where your windows firewall is blocking port 3389 so for this kind of scenario if it is showing as closed First thing is you, you can reset your remote desktop configuration. Check for network security group. Um, most probably these two steps would resolve your issue. And let's say if your VM uh, port 3389 is open and, and the first step when you try to do this and if your port is open, then you don't need to do all the first two steps. You can directly start with your VM console log um and check whether your vm resource is healthy um and and most probably you might have you know um, not entering the correct username and password so this can fix your issue and also redeploying your vm would be a last step of action for you uh, where the the host itself is, may be dropping the packet right or the host the, the the host itself is not functioning properly so during that time, when you do a redeploy of your VM, the VM will be switched to a newer host so that you will be able to successfully connect. So this is a troubleshooting scenario that I am speaking about. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to post it in your in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you.